All right, I'm going to do a five-minute dip challenge. I think I did one of these in the past. I made this video before, basically, but this time I'm doing it to show uh, some people here that I challenged uh, for Herbie Sherman's video, what I'm looking at. I'm looking at about at least a 90-degree angle with the dips, and you're just going to do as many as you can in five minutes. And my original challenge that I was issued was FML fits burpees for 10 minutes. I thought I'd shorten it down to five minutes. So people, you know, sometimes when videos get pretty long, unless you really got some good content or some good humor, hard to get people to watch the whole thing. But I'm going to do five minutes here. In this first one, I get about 30 reps. And uh, I've done these challenges before, and usually I'll do like 25. And I think that might be a better strategy because I can just get five from here on in. And it's just a matter of taking that rest and getting five and going from there. And uh, I'm just going to fire those fast twitch muscle fibers and not burn out here. Just get five quick reps. I think I could have done a few more of these a half year ago. You know, you change how you train. I'm doing more benching now uh, and less of this. But, uh, you know, if I start doing some dips with weight, Maybe start adding some weight, you know, 45 for just a couple sets of five, maybe a set of 10. I can get back into this pretty quick. And as you see, I'm just doing sets of five. Now, here's the deal looking for 90 degree angles and looking to draw awareness to uh, Herbie Sherman's charity. So basically, if you were tagged by me, uh, you know, make a donation if you can. And then do a video and uh, pass it on to some other people. Get some other people doing some challenges. There's all kinds of great challenges you could do. You could squat body weight for reps, body weight times 1.5 for reps, you know, military press 75% of your body weight for reps. I've got more challenges coming down the road. I've got some ideas on challenges. Maybe give some t-shirts away, get some people moving. I like to see people move and suffer. I like to see people suffer on YouTube. Feel the pain, feel the burn, the lactic acid. And I don't know where I am right here, but uh, I can tell you I end up getting 75 reps. I think I did this once before and got 82. It'd be nice if I could get like a hundred. A hundred would be cool because that'd be like 20 a minute. And my breath's a little bit up. And I'm back at it. Just picking that spot. Like you take a couple breaths. It's like I know I can do five every time. I know I can do five. And every challenge I've, I've done like this, like you do that one big blow off set. And then you kind of have this rep range that you know you can hit. For me, it's just five. I knew I could hit five. Maybe the first one I could have hit seven or eight. But then that might have blown the fives down the road. So it's really a matter of holding back on some reps. And then failing pretty much towards the end. You want to be like hitting failure at the end of the challenge. You don't want to be hitting failure uh, too early to where you can't do any reps because you did too many big sets. And the other thing is debatable. Like say I did 30 and then I waited a minute and a half. Maybe I get 20, maybe I don't get 20. Uh, but that can kind of blow your game a little bit. Uh, how your body uh, works, you kind of figure it out doing these challenges, how your condition is. But for me, it's like I do one big set, almost as many as I can do. And then I find a number and I just do it and rest enough but not too much in between each set and just hope they add up. As you can see, I'm shortening the reps here a little bit. I think that's about the minimum desired rep you'll want. And if my posture looks bad, it's because I'm looking at my clock on my wife's iPad down there. A little, little hunchy, little hunchy back. You gotta stand tall. Got to work on standing tall, pull those shoulders back and down. I think this is my last one here. And as you can see, the last rep is a death rep. 
Here we go. And it's got to grind it out. Lock those elbows. Boom. So you know who you people are. It took the challenge. That's what I want to see. Catch you later. 75 reps for me.